Okay, folks, welcome back to Wood Tool Company's channel. So, if you're just tuning in, you're tuning into the test run of the floating skill saw. Uh, when I first did these videos or started this machine and started this segment of videos, um, what I realized is, you know, if you when I when my old copier, the chipper used to come in, you know, just under here. So when the, when the material was turning towards it, it was always kind of coming back and cutting that way, and that's why your skews and everything work so good. Uh, you know, when you come in like that, you come in on that right angle. So what I'm thinking is, folks, is uh, why I'm setting this up is I got a comment uh, on, on my last video there, uh, showing off with the one with the router on it, uh, where, you know, Buddy said, why don't you try a, a skill saw or a, a DeWalt uh, angle grinder with, a, with, a, uh, with the little teeth in it. And, uh, you know, that got me thinking back to my original plan because I did another big copy here yesterday. I don't think the video is going to get up, folks, but this was this big around with a big crook in it here and a big crook in it there, and I put a straight cutter on and just kept rolling it back and forth and turning it by hand. And uh, it didn't take very long until I had a nice size blank, and uh, you know I made a couple of them uh, just out of great big sticks of hardwood, you can see. But what I found was, is uh, the only way I could get this to do a real good job in this big stuff was if I really took my time at the end. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I don't like to do that. So here's the test run. I'm going to start this thing up for the first time, and you guys hopefully will get this video. I just got to plug my skill saw in. And I've got a different motor on my lathe now to make it spin towards me. And I think this is going to be real easy to get dust collection on. 